the defense gets down and dirty and saves the day for the Bengals. Mike Petralia inside Paycor Stadium here on Sunday afternoon. It was not pretty. It was definitely a nail-biter, kind of the game you expected when you take on the hard-hitting, hard-nosed Pete Carroll Seattle Seahawks. But the Bengals come away with a 17-13 victory, and that improves them to 500 going into the bye, a very important milestone for the Bengals to reach this season after another 0-2 start. The Bengals winners of now two in a row have an off week next week to get ready for the San Francisco 49ers on the road in two weeks. But here on Sunday, defense really did save the day uh, at the end of the game. Twice in the final three minutes, Seattle had the ball inside the Cincinnati 10-yard line, and twice they were turned away. One time by a great pass rush from Sam Hubbard, and on the second time, as the clock was winding down in regulation, the Bengals needed desperately to uh, make a stop, and the entire defensive line got pressure uh, in the face of Geno Smith and forced an incomplete pass over the middle to D.K. Metcalf, and that's the way this game ended. Uh, the Bengals win it 17-13. to A pair of birthday boys in this contest really came up big. Andre Yosivash, he turned 24 here on Sunday. He collected his first NFL touchdown reception from Joe Burrow in the first quarter. Uh, that made it 14-7 uh, Cincinnati, uh, part of a really impressive first quarter offensively for the Bengals, but then the offense went absolutely radio silent. More on that in a moment. But Yoshi Vash, uh, at first, there was a penalty called on the play, and he just threw the ball to the ground, kind of like if you remember Charlie Jones on his punt return, the 81-yarder against the Ravens. There was a penalty flag thrown there. He never got the ball back. But in this particular case, Joe Burrow raced into the end zone, got the ball from the officials, and handed it to Yoshi Vosh and uh, congratulated him on a very important touchdown in this contest. Again, that made it 14-7. to After the game, he's, uh, Yoshi Vosh said, uh, it was great to contribute to a win, and I was very happy that my quarterback went into the end zone and was thinking of me on my birthday. The other birthday boy, that would be Cam Taylor Britt. He played an absolutely phenomenal game. He had an airborne Superman-like interception in the fourth quarter that set up really what it came down to, the game-winning points, a 52-yard field goal from Evan McPherson in the fourth quarter. That put Cincinnati up 17-13. to It was important because the Bengals would eventually have to make two goal line stands or essentially red zone stands uh, toward the end of the game to save this victory. In all, the Bengals defense had uh, Se had to stop Seattle four times inside the low red zone, inside the 10, and Seattle only came away with a field goal. That really was the difference in this game. Cam Taylor Britt on that interception returned it about 25 yards to the Seattle 35-yard uh, line, but then the Bengals couldn't move the ball as they couldn't the entire second half. It was really abysmal offensively for the Bengals offense, but the 52-yarder into a slight breeze into the north end zone from Evan McPherson really gave uh, the Bengals a bit of a uh, comfort uh, and a cushion in this game that they would need down the stretch. Uh, defensively, you really couldn't ask for anything more. Uh, Cam Taylor Britt uh, after the game saying that these are the moments we live for. We want to be in these big game moments to save the game. What did Jamar Chase say? He said, with a defense like that, a defense like that can win you championships, and that's what we're hoping happens toward the end of the season. Chase uh, and Burrow did not have the kind of day that they did uh, against the Seattle, uh, against the Arizona Cardinals a week earlier. You could see them talking it out a lot with the coaching staff and each other on the sideline. Joe Burrow started this game uh, 18 of 22 in the first half. As a matter of fact, he completed 15 of his first 17 passes for 123 yards, a pair of touchdowns, one to Tyler Boyd, one to Yossi Vosh, and all things look to be clicking uh, in that first half. But Joe Burrow, a different story in the second half as Seattle and Pete Carroll threw a lot of different defensive looks, threw off Burrow and Cincinnati's offensive rhythm uh, in the last two quarters of this game. And Burrow was just four of 16 in that second half uh, for just 41 yards passing. And it was really something that frustrated Burrow after the game. He said, we got it done, 
but we played pretty horrible offensively in that second half. We're going to have to look at the film and figure out what went wrong. Zach Taylor, for his part, said, I can't put my thumb on exactly what went wrong here offensively in the second half here on Sunday. We'll have to take a close look at the film. So both Burrow and Zach Taylor will be spending Monday together trying to put their fingers on uh, some film, get some treatment, and find out a way to come out better offensively after the bye week next week and get ready for the San Francisco 49ers, who, by the way, could not hold on to a lead in Cleveland, and they lost to the Browns, their first loss of the season on Sunday. But the Bengals get it done, as Joe Burrow put it, after the game and come away with a much-needed win, 17-13 to over the Seattle Seahawks, snapping Seattle's three-game winning streak, Cincinnati's second consecutive victory. Bengals will have a practice and meeting, uh, actually meetings on Monday, and then they will break for the bye and have uh, six days off before they come back and get ready for San Francisco after the bye. We'll have you covered on the YouTube channel, youtube.com slash at Jungle Roar Pod. Of course, follow me online, clnsmedia.com. And as always, follow me on Twitter, at Trags, T-R-A-G-S. The final again from inside Paycor Stadium, the Bengals back to 500, Bengals 17, the Seahawks 13. Inside Paycor, Mike Petralia, CLNS Media.